you said on camera. Don't smoke a shower and try to build my head. And just settle down. Because you know when you drink alcohol, the alcohol doesn't knock you. It doesn't kick in instantaneously. But actually, Gosling was reading. You know we love her reading. Yeah, let, let, let Gosling read it. We want to be here. I've got yeah. a flight to catch. We want to be here the whole day. That's a very long statement. Oh, man, she called you. Simon called you a squirrel. <laughs> and then she called me some blue fish. She knows everything blue. I'm a blue movie, a blue blue fish. So listen, I'm not trying to uh, 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 make an excuse. I did fuck up and I Dearly, from the bottom of my heart, like I apologize to Joseph Diary. You gotta, you gotta be brave to date a soccer player, man. Like those guys are players of note. Like. Yeah, I saw all that. I mean, hence the sport they play. Uh... <laughs> she she off and she fell pregnant. Uh... You are my fucking your uncle, but come. Hey, Penduka, I'm coming with you to Miami. What a fucking week. Come to Miami. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Hey, DJ you don't have a kick in Miami, hey? I'm Macaver, coming with you, man. Hey. I've never read in the movie show. <laughs> <laughs> where, 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 where are you from? I'm going straight and go. On a straight and pee. What a week. Where's DJ Fresh when you need him, eh? What, what a week. week. <laughs> wow. <laughs> hey, bro, so it started with uh, 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 Melissiwe Mandela. Hey, oi. Hey, 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 hey. My boy, oh, Monday. Oh, my boy, Monday. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my boy, Monday. You want to tell? You want to tell us something? My boy. Who's Melissy? Monday. Who do you call my boy, yeah. So he calls me, bro. He was panicking, bro. Oh, just to give context. Okay. Uh, can you explain what happened with the show? Like, uh, 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 where it started and how he got to be here. Uh, can we what start do you with mean? that? Uh, my boy, Monday. Yeah, yeah. So we recorded an episode with Busisi where. The, Nkweban. Nkweban, the advocate, right? Yes, yes. FFMP. Yes. Yeah. So he, he managed to get my number. He reached out to me. He's like, yo, listen, I like what you guys are doing. You're trying to save the Mandela house in Houghton. Boom, boom, boom. I'd love to come on the show yeah. and talk about it. And we we're excited, man. We're yeah, like, oh, Mandela wow. on the show, yeah. You nice. know, we never hear from the, uh, from the Mandelas. You know, it'd be great to have him here. Yeah. yeah, true. We've got the prep ready. We have yeah. questions ready. Mm -hmm. We were really, really excited. Yeah. yeah. Then the guy comes. <laughs> Hey, what happened to good? Remember? Did you have good? Yeah, I didn't see it. He was drinking good with his friends outside. downstairs. Yeah, before before we even started recording. Oh my god, I didn't go downstairs. I didn't see him. Yeah, who's that now? Who's that? Rounder, come on, open, show yourself. Oh, the caretaker. Rounder, ufudan caretaker, ufudu puma man. Oh, which car's oh, blocking? Yeah. Which car is blocking? Podcaster. The podcast one or the Kia oh, one? Oh, the podcast car is blocking. Oh. oh okay. Ask case, ask case. Hey, landlord. Oh. Come here, landlord. So this is the landlord. He takes care. Grab a mic <laughs> there. No, no landlord. No, must start. He, he, he takes care of Mashavela Studios when Mashavela is <laughs> <Stop> going <laughs> in. <laughs> what did you, because you know when I walked in, you was watching the, the episode we did with uh, King David. Yeah, uh, we were that. playing games. That, yeah. yeah, what did you think of that episode? Eh? I'm still laughing, though. <laughs> <laughs> I must laugh more. Yeah. Because yeah. the first time I saw it, it wasn't done yet. Yeah. It was being edited and stuff. Yeah. Um, I actually cried. You cried? You cried? Why? Because when I laugh a lot, I cry. Oh, <laughs> oh okay. Wait. Yeah, I was worried about Pratesh's property. I'm like, no, no, no. just cries, Jess. How is he going to offend up people when there's intruders? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to cry. <laughs> no, shout out to you. Like, you like it, though, eh? Yeah, very much. Yeah. Oh, shout out, man. Have you seen it, Penduke? No, I haven't. I've no, seen a glimpse of it because it was live now as we record. Yeah, no, you yeah. have to check it out. It's me awesome. laughing, so. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So part one is up. Make sure you check it out on King David Studio. That's his YouTube channel with Pradave. We did an awesome game show. Like, yeah. the whole name took us yeah. there. Uh, oh, it was so much fun. We're going to do more of those, bro. Yeah, yeah Dudu and Ghost Ladies fight is in part one or part two. 
Part one. Ah, Kuri. Check out part one. Hey, 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 hey. It's the fight on the show. Ah, hey. It's not on the show. They cut it out. It's on. It is in the show. Yeah, oh. but they've kind of censored us now, you know. Yeah. Let's put the fight on. What is this? Ah, it was our past. Yeah. All right, cool. So, yeah. So then he comes, bro. Hey, my boy. My boy, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he had some beef with you from the jump, eh? Yeah, when he got here, he was like, yeah, Englishman. I have a problem with you and your English. English. You are saying bad things about my family, you know? And I thought it was going to come hard on me on, on camera. Yeah. But no, I didn't say it, didn't say much on camera, you know? But yeah, he did say he's got a bone to pick with me. And then initially it was meant to be 30 minutes. Yeah. Because uh, we're going to talk about him and then we're going to talk about the house and then done. Yeah. Yes. Then we start recording. I'm sitting here. How were you feeling through the interview? Bro, the guy, firstly, when he came, because I didn't see him in a ingo doing stuff downstairs, he looked fine to me, right? And then I remember we offered him a drink, the first drink. And he oh, said I he thought drink, it was his way. first drink. <laughs> and I said, no, no, um, he can't have a drink because he doesn't drink, you know, so he mm. can't drink. And on camera as well. And he well. looked very sober and sounded so sober. And he said on camera. I don't know how to try to fill it by it. And just settle down. Because you know when you drink alcohol, the alcohol doesn't knock you, doesn't kick in instantaneously. But yeah. the moment you sat down, I think it kicked in. Oh. As soon as you answered the first question, I was like, hi. We tried it this way. Tried it this way. I still have walked to the bottle store. Drop the. Come on, Kwawa. That time, that time, I took only shots before you figured out. This Mandela. This Mandela, I took only shots. So yes, and I was like, oh my God. So all along I've been asking myself, and Ghost Lady did ask the question, as he's doing the interview, I'm like, did they nominate this guy to come here? Is yeah. this the guy? Yeah. This is the best Mandela they could get to Yo. represent them. <laughs> but I'm like, but Ulu and Tusa didn't want to come. No, 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 and I don't. I'm still baffled as to why Mbuso didn't want to come. Mm. Yeah. Right. Because I think they. I don't know if they know the guy. They know him, mm. but I don't know if they knew he would come across as this. I didn't know if they knew that he's a bit of a motor mouth, even worse when he's drunk. Yeah. Right. Yes. But like to me, it wasn't the best representation. I mean, the guy. Also, I'm surprised because he goes all over, speaking all over. I mean, he's been in Russia, and when exactly. you Google this, you see he speaks at, uh, at a BRICS whatever thing mm. conference they're having. Goes to Russia in I don't know what capacity, but he's a public speaker. He mm -hmm. speaks, and he, he can speak. He doesn't have the the Mandela, the expected Mandela uh, accent, yes. but he can communicate. Yes. You know, he can communicate. But I just think he had one too many, bro. Yeah. What did you think, Gosling? I was, I think. Already I was feeling like, hey, this show, no, we're only going to have to edit out a lot of stuff. for Because uh, remember how we even had a meeting afterwards. We were like, oh, guys, what are we going to even do about this episode? Yes, it was just bad. straight after the episode, we deliberated for about an hour here on some like, guys. <laughs> this, <laughs> what are we, we putting doing? this up? Yeah. Because yeah. in all honesty... Uh, 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 we all felt like you didn't represent the Mandela's well. Well, yeah. Yes. And... Out of respect for Tata, do we really want to like not tarnish their name, but like do we really want to, you know, put that up? And well, ultimately, the conclusion was like, "Hey, man, we're not ENCA. Yeah. We're not here to represent chill. the Mandelas, bro. Yes. Yes. To be honest, you know, we respect them and stuff. But if we speak to one and he says he's going to speak uh, in his capacity as a Mandela." Uh, on Mandela Affairs, we welcome it. Yeah. And we're podcasters, guys. I mean, we've done shows, some were shit because we were too drunk ourselves. Yeah. You know, so why are we going to filter ourselves? And also, I think we carried ourselves professionally because we didn't start asking them about things that were... were, 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 were left, outside, you yeah. You know what I mean? For well, clickbait. Yeah, yes. for clickbait. We didn't start not asking about... Who did you smash? Because you would have told us. Smash. Yeah, would have told us. We didn't Yo. ask about the funerals, <laughs> Zinzi's funeral, yes. and all the gossipy stuff. You know what I mean? We still asked about the order of the day and, and the business of the day, which was the Mandela's in the house. Yeah. Yeah. Um, how he answered is out of our control, but we carried ourselves professionally. And on that basis, you know, I think that's where we felt like... And no, he released a statement, ne? Yeah, he did. Apologize. You, you, you saw it coming, ne? Yeah, he called a closer man a boy, bro. A yeah. whole closer man. Plus minister on top of it. But apart from minister aside, ZZ is a closer guy who went to the initiation and closer man. Mm. So to call him a boy... And ZZ was, called me as well. That was coming. 
Did he call yeah, you? Yeah, last week, Bongi went last week. For real. Yes, did he? What did he say? He's like, what you had as a sign, King? Yo. Speed up, speed up, pass in, pass in, speed. <laughs> How was his tone, though? No, 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 he, he, he was cool, man. He wasn't like aggressive or in a fighting yeah. Man, I was just like, yo, man, who's this guy? Like, what's going on, you know? Yeah. And then I told him, hey, this is what happened. Boom, he's like, hey, no. Next time, uh, you guys should vet your guests properly. Next thing, you might have naked people on the show. I was like, ah, no, we've done that. So tell me how we've had naked people. <laughs> like, uh, that, that child we've done. No, but let's be honest, though. Even if we did vet him, we would have Googled my yeah, boy Mandela you can Google and him. see that he's a Mandela and see that he's in Russia. He's got a good and profile. See, yeah, and see that he's... You know, politically made opinion uh, statements before, and see that it's a legit Mandela. So even if we'd vetted him, yeah. we don't know if the guy we're vetting is going to come drunk. Mm. Even if we've successfully vetted him, yeah. so that wasn't going to work. Uh, what did the statement say? Oh, you got something you want to yeah. say, Fitchek? Oh, oh, you want to read okay. the statement? All right, cool, okay. cool. No, no, Ghost is jet lagged, so I think you, you, you read it. Oh, She's from Cape Town. Jet lagged, we are. From Cape Town. Where, wow. where Cape jet Town? Jet lag is a Cape Town. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. No, actually, Ghostly must read it. You know we love her reading. Yeah, let, let, let Ghostly read it. We want to be here. I've got a flight to catch. We don't want to be here the whole day. That's a very long statement. Yo. <laughs> read, read it, Fed Checker. Read, please read it for us. You got it there. But all in all, what a great guy, man. Yeah, he's such a cool um, guy, man. Yeah. My boy is such a cool guy. And I think people could pick that up you know, mm. from him. He's yeah. a really cool, fun guy. He can take a joke. Mm. Uh, and he's a chiller. And I think also he was overwhelmed. He was too excited. Yeah, yeah. he was overwhelmed by being here and in the studio and seeing you, me, the crew, <laughs> Ghost Lady even. You know? and, and then it's like, so, I survived. <laughs> I survived. Yes, and then like, you didn't catch me. I survived, I survived. <laughs> and then it's like, yeah, I'm done drinking. I'm, I'm drinking my energy drink. <laughs> I was sober, by the way. I'm like, legend. I was like, like you survived. Because the manager's sitting there going, yes, yes, perfect. You're doing well. I'm like, what the fuck is the blind leading the blind here? What is going on, man? The manager was so impressed. Perfect. I was like, I was like, hey, okay. uh, let's keep on. Oh, man. Oh, but he was, but he was able to explain the family history very well. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. I like that part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I didn't know that what you were saying, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he explained that. Was he explained and you actually, you'd want to sit with him even more to actually get more information. Yeah. Just about the family tree, you know, every, you know. I think there's a lot of knowledge that you can get out of him. Yeah, you can well, we can have him back. Yeah, 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 we can have yeah. him back. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. 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 He's Make sure we show. clear the desk of everything. <laughs> <laughs> Fed checker, yeah? Um, the statement reads as follows. I am writing this letter to sincerely apologize for the inappropriate language I used during the recent episode of Mag G of the Mag G podcast. Upon reflection, I realized that my choice of words, specifically referring to Minister Zizi as God, like bat in emphasis, was disrespectful and unacceptable. It was never my intention to demean or belittle Minister Zizi or anyone else. I understand the importance of respectful dialogue, especially when discussing public figures and leaders. Calling a man a boy is not only disrespectful, but per 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 perpetuates Wait, the Ghost, is that you? Hey. <laughs> the spirit hey. of Ghost Lady hey. has awakened hey. the <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> hey, it's a so call. I saw. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see Founder. you. Founder. Where are you from? The couple of years. Founder. Founder. So sad again. Perpetuates harmful stereotypes and undermines the dignity of individuals. I take full responsibility for my words and impact that may have that it may have had on Minister Zizi and our listeners. I deeply regret any offense or hurt that may that my remarks may have caused. I understand the weight of my influence as a podcast and host and the res and the responsibilities that comes with He's a host now. Oh. Hey, he's a podcast also. <laughs> he did say. Oh, it's the ghost lady. He says <laughs> as a podcast and host, so I'm not sure Okay, exactly so that's just the if that's okay. the thing. And then it ends with him signing it. He, he obviously didn't write that. 
You did, but guys, the guys can't. The guy can speak. He was intoxicated. So you think he wrote it? He can effectively communicate. Yeah, I really think he can. Nah, someone from the family wrote that, man. Oh, come on. You I think he can. I think the guy can. You tell me that guy can't write. He's oh. grounded, my man. When did he get time to write that? He's grounded right yeah. now. Yeah, I think he wrote. I don't know. I'm, I can believe he wrote it. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, the guy but do can they, The family has a, maybe has a PR person, I mean, then. Yeah, usually PR people write this kind yes. of stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. I've, I've got faith in... Anyway, then, then I get a message from Cyan Buji. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, Zuma. <laughs> Why is it Zuma? Uh, it's Zuma. Her name is Zuma. Zuma. Oh, is it? No, you don't know her surname is Zuma. Uh, what's her full name? Honor. 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 Honor Zuma. Yeah. Honor. That's Cyan's name. Can we put it on Honor? Yes. Yes, Honor Zuma. Oh, I don't know Zuma. that. Honor. So where does she get the Cyan from? Um, it's maybe it's a favorite, yeah? her favorite same place color. where like wait, wait 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 what are you saying Fetch I didn't hear you there um, she did mention it on the podcast that you guys had with her <laughs> when she said <laughs> Oh, it was a long time ago. She mentioned the name. Hey guys, she we do too many episodes. <laughs> she said that cyan is her favorite shade of blue. It's a color of oh, blue. Yes, and yes. that she feels bougie. So that's where she got the name cyan bougie from. And bad and bougie was ba- was in back then. Oh, yeah, it was popping. Oh, so... it's a blue move. <laughs> Wait. Drop it. She's feeling blue. I'm blue. I'm blue. I'm blue. I'm blue. I'm blue. I mean, so she messages me. She's like, yeah. "Oh, you called me a prostitute, you loser," <laughs> and I'm like, "How?" Oh. But selling your bums, or like well, she's admitted to uh, 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 selling your bums, or like getting paid to have sex with a man, isn't that prostitution? Uh, yeah. And then she's like, "No, I'm not. I'm a DJ." And then in my head, I'm like, "I'm a virgin." <laughs> like, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Why are you saying in your head? Yeah, saying okay. it <laughs> Why are you saying it in your head? <laughs> so she wasn't happy, dog. She yeah. wasn't happy with being called uh, a prostitute. Well, people will make those kind of inferences when you go start going around saying, you know, there's this house. Mm. I don't know who owns it. It was locked and I jumped over the wall and then I managed to break into the house and chill, right? And then when someone makes an inference that I'm a burglar, I can't say, no, I'm not. Mm. But I just described how I went into trespassing a stranger's home and went inside, right? Mm. That's burgling into a house. Mm. So if you admit that for money you, you, you've you slept with someone before and that this is how much it costs to keep you around mm. for sex mm. Mm. in return for money, then someone says Pro- you're a prostitute, you can't blame them for that because that's what you've admitted essentially into doing. What happened with you and Tiki Mazoy? Uh, no. uh, Dude posted it on the group. What was going on? No, there? man. She called you, Sian called you a squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> and then she called me some blue fish. She knows everything blue. I'm a blue movie, a blue, blue blob fish. Blue blob. Yeah. yeah. Everything about it. She called me a squirrel. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. funny it's though, man. That's yeah. funny. Blue blob. Yeah. She called me some ugly ass fucking <laughs> fish. Funny. She called yeah. me, put that fish here. Put that fish here. Put that fish yeah, man. Yeah. You know? And a squirrel. What yeah. a squirrel. Please, they must put okay, a picture. Let, let, let me... Let me... Yeah, let bro. Me Google no one that in between the lady say yeah. Kafisha. You know what I mean? She called me this big ass, ugly ass, prickled face yeah. with thorns looking like blue. fish. Oh, guys. And she what said I'm that funny? fish. Oh, shit. That is funny. Yeah. Yeah, blob. It's yeah. a blob. Blob fish. Yeah, but yeah. the problem is that's her rebuttal to you calling her what she essentially does. <laughs> you know, so calling us animals that we're not as much no, as... No, but dog, haven't you noticed whenever we call someone out, they always do that. They never talk about the issue we are calling yeah, them out on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because her rebuttal was meant to say... Well, when have I ever prostituted my body exactly. for money? Yeah. When have I ever, when have I ever slept remember, with someone? Remember, if someone calls me something Remember now, Pori, you went on a live. We were talking about split sheets. Yes. And his defense was, you know, I know Mac G from back in the days Please. with Popstar. <laughs> Nigga, we want the split, split sheets, sheets, dog. Mm. <laughs> Everything but the split sheets. He started naming other people. It was like, Gabs and this and that. And it was okay. It's but... so funny when they do that, bro. Yeah. I just love, so, bro. so, so, I mean, one of the Twitter accounts was then posting that, you know, yeah. that this is what she called us. <laughs> and then Ntiki was like, oh, salt does look like that fish. You know? <laughs> so I'm like, oh, wait a month. Fuck, pop. The day who cares, who cares, I'm not. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, I will look with that, you know? And people actually like that tweet. Uh, I was just saying. Uh, uh, that's but funny. you know what? I think with all of this, I think people like to be in a career, you know, part of a career, but they don't want the title. So I think that's the thing with Usain. It's like, but she owned it and said, okay, this is what I do. This is it. But it's like, but do not give me the title. Mm. It's like, okay. So now that's Monday. When was that? Monday, Tuesday. Okay, cool. I know. Yeah. The weather that has stormed is come mm. down now. Hey. I forgot about the episode we recorded with Colin. Then the Joseph Diary thing drops. Hey. Hey. Dead diary. What a fucking fuck up. What happened? What a fuck up. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> yo, 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 yo. What happened? What happened? It turns out it wasn't Joseph Diary. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Ah, my it God. Turns out it wasn't. Ah, so, my God. so that's why I, I was like, bro, so no one picked this up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because when I, I, didn't, I didn't know the name, but yeah. I've seen the guy and what he does, right? Yeah. So when I checked, I'm like, no ways. No one picked this up. Yeah. You know? Because, I mean, if you know me, bro, you know I don't follow like the social streets, like YouTube streets, whatever. Is happening. I don't know these kids unless I need to. Like, even with Seema, I didn't know her until we met. And they were like, oh, this is Seema. She's a TikToker. Mm-hmm. She's got 3 million views, or whatever. Yeah, oh, great, great. Because mm-hmm. I'm not in that space. You know me, bro. I just do my own thing, right? Yeah. I don't follow him religiously. Yes. Like, if, if you were to come here, I wouldn't even know that's Joseph Diary. Until someone says, hey, that's Joseph Diary. Yes. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Yes. So I'm not like really clued up into like him, 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 him. Yeah, same same with me because I didn't even know when you said the name till I saw uh, on YouTube I'm like, oh, this guy. Exactly. Because I've seen his work. Yes. So I saw the, the episode of Manyanyova last day sometime. Right? See this guy, boom, boom. His name is Joseph. Right? Mm-hmm. He's an influencer. He's on that show. Light-skinned as well. Right? Yeah, I saw the I saw the image. The, I saw the image. Yes. yes. Yeah. So I, I'm looking at that show, Twitter. right? So I see that show. Cool, cool. Time goes by. Time goes by. And then he pops up on my feed. Uh, I think he was he was he was doing a skit whereby like um, there was a, a gangster. Let's just say the twenty sevens on mm-hmm. the skit or whatever. I don't know if it's a skit or whatever he was doing there. Yeah. But then he was trying to say. So the guy on the video was like. Hey, fuck you, 27s, 27s. And he was like, fuck you, 27, 27. And then late, a, few, a few moments later, he realized that like it's an actual crew and he started getting scared. And then he started apologizing with Kevin to say, no, he doesn't have any beef with the 27s, blah, blah, blah. I don't know if you guys have seen that. Oh. I haven't. You haven't seen that? I've seen it, but I don't think it's Joseph, that one. Oh, it's not Joseph. Yeah. Yeah. It's King Ginger. Ah, there's too many of these kids, bro. There's too many of these kids, bro. But then, like, if you don't know the Wait, guy. Wait, but I'm coming. Okay, 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 I'm coming. Okay. I'm coming. Okay, come. So come. then that's when I'm like, no, man, Somebody this guy looks familiar. Me. This guy looks familiar. Isn't it the guy from Manyonyoba? Because I'm thinking influence. So is this from the video of the 27s? Yeah, that video. Okay, I'm like, cool. isn't this the guy from Was Manyonyoba? Was this in a short space of time where you had seen Manyonyoba episode and now? Yes. Okay, cool. Because right. I'm thinking, why would you have the guy of Manyoba in your head for so long? Yes. Unless it was just like you've seen it like two weeks ago. Yes. Okay. So I asked a friend of mine who watched the episode with me when we were watching Manyoba. I'm like, isn't this the same guy? He's like, yeah, that's the same guy. He just looks different or he's done his thing or whatever. Like he's, he's trying to not look like that guy. Oh, hence you said he's trying to hide his face. Because yes. that guy doesn't hide his face on his YouTube, which I only went through after you had said. I'm you like, get what oh, I'm saying? Really hide his face. So I'm yeah. like, oh, okay, cool. So that might be him, right? But I never spoke about it. Like, if if you listen to the Kolani interview, I said, I've known this for a while, but I've yes. never spoken about it because I didn't have proof. Yeah. So we tried to look for that video. We couldn't find the video, right? So now, when this lady was here from Moja Lab, yes, I thought it would be a perfect opportunity to ask her, who better... Than the lady who was doing head of commissioning editor, commissioning editor head of, of shows, head of channel, she's head, here of, head of content, to ask her, hey, was it that guy? Was yeah. it Joseph Diary? And she admitted, and she said yes. She said yes, yeah. and I even described the scene. I'm like, he was doing this. She's like, yeah, that's the guy. So as soon as she said that, I'm thinking, oh, okay, cool, that's the guy. Done, right? Then yesterday. Dudu showed me the picture of the guy. So yeah, in the blue top. Yeah, yeah. So they, they finally found the picture of the guy in the blue top. Joseph. And then uh, she sent me a picture of Joseph. His name is, jo- is his name Joseph also? Yeah. His name is his also name Joseph. Is Joseph. Yeah, okay. So they yeah. share a name. Okay. And they look the same, bro. They look identical, bro. Similar. 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 Identical. I wouldn't say. Bro, look, look at this. Have you seen the pictures? I've seen it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've seen it. Have you seen Ghost Lady? Because yeah, that guy's slightly picture. older. That guy's slightly older. Joseph Derry looks like a kid. Yeah. yeah, that guy's older. 
it's a and it's subjective, you know. S- sometimes I can say you look like so and so, and look, like nah. Someone says yeah. Someone's like nah. Where is it, dude? So you, you have to apologize to, to Joseph. No, of course I have to. Don't, yeah, he is. no, 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 no. It's gonna definitely. hit you very heavy. No, definitely. And bro. apart from the uh, lawsuit aside, but just the. Uh, no, I'm just giving serious allegations. Man, fucked up, eh? dude, dude, yeah, serious, dude. Trust serious. me, I know. I was, I was accused of, of rape. rape. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm yeah. still waiting for my apology, but you know, I know what it feels like. Yeah, Amanda. Yeah. Yeah. At the point, doesn't even privately apologize. Zero, bro. Uh, uh. But let me send it to the group. Uh, podcast production. There. Okay, cool. Sent. Don't these guys look similar, bro? Look at the nose, bro. I've seen it. I've seen it. I did this at home. I was like, mm. I see the resemblance, but it's not enough to yeah. be like, yeah, yeah, to confidently say it was him. Yeah. You know? So how we got to the side. Also, sorry, because also that lady may have been confirmed that it was a Joseph who was an influencer as yes, well. Yes, yes, you know? yes, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. So how we realized that it's not him, if you check the guy in the blue, he's got a tattoo. Yeah. Yeah. And Joseph Diary doesn't have one. Mm-hmm. And the guy seems older than jo- Joseph uh, mm-hmm. Diary. Yeah. 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 He seems yeah. Like much yeah. older. Yeah. yeah. So listen, I'm not trying to uh, 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 make an excuse. I did fuck up. And I dearly, from the bottom of my heart, like I apologize to Joseph Diary. Uh, I'll take the L on this one. I just thought like, you know, it's Joseph, influencer, mm-hmm. light skin. They look similar. Mm-hmm. You know, but it's not an excuse. And I deeply apologize to, to Joseph Diary. That's big. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's that's nice. career that's suicide, proper. bro. Yeah. That's proper. Yeah. That's yeah. career that's suicide, proper. bro. Yeah, so, definitely. So I do apologize. Like, that was not the intention. And, um, bro, we're not in the business of killing careers. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. You know what I mean? No. So or I spreading, hate that narrative. Or spreading lies. Or spreading uh, lies. I mean, that's why we have a fed checker. people. That's why we have a fed checker because we yeah. take that shit seriously. Yeah. So yeah. I, I really do want to apologize to Joseph Dario. I mean, that was fucked up, man. Yeah. Nice one, That was man. crazy. Nice one. Yeah. That's, yeah, beautiful. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's big of you. But they look similar, <laughs> 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 nah. Nah, 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 nah. Sorry, Joseph. Sorry, sorry. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah, and that has been my week, bro. Crazy. Hey. Hey. Hectic, eh? Yeah. Yeah. And I tried to call him, Joseph. Um, oh. Yeah, to apologize privately. Did you oh, yeah? answer? Did you guys speak? Well, he answered and then he dropped. I think his lawyers maybe advised him not to speak to me or something like that. Oh, oh, wait, oh, oh so he knew it was you. But yeah, yeah, because I said, yeah, I said, hey, it's Mac G here. I just want to boom, 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 and then it dropped. Ooh, ooh. Oh, damn. Mm, mm. Okay. What if now you sues? Oh, he's got every right to, bro. Because because clearly when he calls you, he knows that, oh, shit, mm. you know, you're apologizing. No, don't he's got every right to. That's defamation, bro. Yeah. Yeah. It's defamation and it's yeah. a serious allegation, bro. Yeah. Mm. And yeah. someone who's in the public space, it can affect him and yeah. affect his revenue. Yeah. So so he's got every right to yeah. sue. Man. You can't yeah. just come out and say uh, yes. people are pedophiles. Sure. But I think it'll also be considered that you call, you you apologize on the But who's the Joseph platform. then? Dudu, did you find the Joseph? You didn't find him. So what is he influencing Who's if you can't find him? Yeah, after that expose, you'd flee. I don't think you'd... Yeah, but if he was, think... there would be paper trail, though. After that expose, I don't think you'd open a YouTube channel and, you know, and go about taking couples' phones <laughs> and just making them exchange them. Exactly. I was so surprised. Like, damn, no people do that after such a thing. Bro, so people have done guy, crazier think, things, man. It's true, though, right? People have done Brazen. crazier things. But I think with this guy, he probably just disappeared and vanished. Dude, you so you didn't find him? You didn't find this guy? Okay, what did you do to try to try to... Tr- that's another thing, you know. So grab, grab the mic there. So how, what did you do to try to get this guy? Yeah, I went through like TikTok, you know, because usually even how we found certain information about that this is not necessarily Joseph, you know, you read comments and someone is going to say this is the actual one, you know. Yeah, because I didn't know his surname or anything of that nature. And also I tried reaching out to the host of the show that my, my yeah, the, 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 the pasta, the yes. pasta yes, yes, but yes. I couldn't get a hold of him as uh, well. Yeah, and yeah. then the girl, the the, the underage girl. Uh, I don't think we need to contact that girl. You know, but just considering saying, the trauma. Yeah, exactly. Just, it's I, traumatic. I'm, I'm thinking oh, it's traumatic, yeah. so it's we traumatic. don't have to trigger yeah, her yeah, all yeah, over yeah. again. So I didn't try to reach. No, man, we must find this Joseph then. Must yeah, be definitely. Man. We'll keep trying. I'll yeah. keep calling the the pasta. I think he went underground. Definitely. So he probably deleted everything. Yeah, yeah. He better. You know, it probably mm, went underground, bro. It's a big bro. thing. 
Yeah, but probably. if we reach out and ask the chillers to help us, if someone knows the guy, then yeah, we can find, no, yeah. we, must, we must expose this. Yeah, guy. we must expose him. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, how's your week? So, what do you what, what do you want to talk about? My week is good. Nah, my week is good, bro. Um, just a recommendation. Check out there's a lady on TikTok who did a whole series, bro. This lady put Ooh. up like 50 videos and they're all like five hours long when you put them together on uh, TikTok. And it's called Who the, who who the, the Fuck, fuck Did I, I Marry? Fucking incredible storytelling. Yeah, so her ex-husband, <clears throat> you know, like I won't r- r- spoil it, you know, but it's one of those you find out like, shit, you married a whole lie. You know, the guy is like... No, so just tell us. No, I can't finish it. It's too long. The series is on TikTok now. Hey. Well, but it just showed how like how you can use TikTok. <laughs> it's not even a series like acting. She's sitting in a car at home. Just, yeah. And uh, uh, just narrating the story of how she got uh, essentially, you know, married someone who turned out to be the total narcissist. opposite. Narcissist. Narcissist, pathological Psychotic. liar, oh, crazy, goodness. con artist. You- Guy, and she did 50 videos, obviously in snippets, and it's like five hours long all together. Yeah. It's wild, all on TikTok. Like, it's just, like, it's like, as much as it's a sad story, but it's also the powerful side of TikTok or social media. It's brilliant. Who TF did I marry? TF is obviously the fuck. So she's talking about one guy. One yeah, guy. In the whole gen- five hours. Yeah. No way. Every, on all these clips, obviously she did it. Maybe for for a week or week. You watched the whole the whole. No, I haven't. Um, uh, who are you at now? I've, I've, well, the part where um, they just got married and they're looking for a home. Um, so it's like a story time, but on yeah, TikTok. story time on TikTok. Yeah, it's called "Who the fuck did I marry?" It's like went globally viral. It's incredible. Yeah, you know, yeah. I, I was like, "Fuck, how dope is that?" Oh, king. No, because I'm also there too, and I'm. I, I want to get someone who has gone like watched everything. Because I'm like, you know what? I, I don't. I, I can't. I don't have the time. There's articles you can read, though. I'm sure the Forbes has got an article as well. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah, you, okay. you can read then how the story ends without having to listen to her. Kosti, can you translate what this guy is saying, man? You know that guy who's uh, got a polygamy show. He's married uh, to. Um, 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 yeah, I'm some Seleku. Okay. Yes, can you please translate what he's saying here? Yeah, uh, where, is where is this video? Let me find it. Yeah, please translate what he's saying here. Okay. Does it play? Oh, okay, sorry. Okay, let me start it again. Okay, cool. Women with children, but tando ba selfish, by us phones in God. Sebebe gum kom. Bona, but beninga ne ba bebe tiguena. Munga tandinga ne amisga manese. Aibo. Eya kuingan minang tanda wen yes angi gie ge vele ngoba no baba wengan wap ye. What's he say? What's God to team? That's level. If you got if you got vend, if you got this vend, as this vigo is vend. Kama speaks very good soon. As this vigo is vend. If you got this vend, Kama speaks very good soon. I could tell. Ani is poison. Okay, it didn't translate. It didn't translate. Children. Okay. Tando ba selfish. Ba tando ba. They like to be selfish. Women. By losing, I don't know what that means. By losing, what does that mean? What does that mean? What does that mean? But phones are in God. They're forcefully, they're, they're forcefully shoving their kids down our throats. Throats. Essentially. <laughs> it's what he said. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Phones are. It's too sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like phones are. Okay, okay. Yeah. Or phones are. You should know that one. No. Your name is phones are, bruh. Sebebe gum gum. Um, um, how um, am I supposed to know what that is? It's a rule. It's rule. How am I supposed to know what that is? Rules and regulations. Um, 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 Bandela. Yeah. Hey. Okay, fair enough. Um, um, you would know me. Exactly. All right. Hey, Nina. Hey, Nina. Hey, Nina. They have a kid, and then they say to you, yeah. If you don't love my kid, you can't love me. Okay, I didn't get that part. Mm. Then he says, no way, man. What do you mean, bro? I love you, not your kid. Exactly. Yes. You know, maybe this is why even your baby, your father, uh, the baby daddy left you. So explain it. That part so explain it. So explain it. Just give the whole sentence. No, what you say? Basically, okay. Yeah, if it's said like that, I'd get that. Um, basically, it's just about women would have you. You're getting to a relationship with a woman who's ghost got a kid, and then now they force feeding you up their kid. That if you love me, you must love my kid. 
obviously fair. I feel like, you know, if you love someone in the rightful way, yes. then obviously you take, you say you love everything about them, which includes obviously their kid. Mm. But obviously maybe it's also talking about situations where maybe you're just trying to, it's just vibing, it's just not nothing serious, but already now you are being forced to take care of a kid up front. It's almost like you are judged. For you to get that love back, it's like love my child too. Mm. And then it's like now, now you're actually looking for a parent. You're not looking for love. It's a prerequisite. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Yeah. So that's what is to my understanding. And is. do you agree with them? Um, As someone with two kids. To a certain, uh, 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 like, I, under I understand his context also. Mm. And it's just in general, because I don't think he's just about, we are vibing or it's, it's, it's almost like, you know, in, in this culture of, just give me money first. That's how you show love. Like, it's already like, uh, just, I just want money, money. It's like, okay, first, guys, let's date. Let's know each other. It's not just about how much are you going to give me. And that's the mentality that sometimes women just run with only. It's just that from, from where to go, I want money. You know, that's how you show me love. Yeah, we all love money, but. So it's we're losing that, that aspect. And then now it becomes also take care of my kid. Just oh. instead of letting the person show up and become like a step parent, a step father. So what are you saying? You're saying the same way people just want money, it's now become a thing or you must obviously take care, care of, my of my kid. Care of my kid, exactly. Oh, it's and it's a non-negotiable. Is this non the broader context of what he was saying? Was it about taking care? Because Nguzemi no Utando, not necessarily supporting the child, right? He was saying, hey... If I'm in love with you, I love you. I don't have to love your kid. That's what he said. Was he speaking, maybe you know the broader context. Was he speaking a broader context of you're expecting me to step in and take care of your child's every need like their father? Or was he just speaking mm. of a, a situation whereby it's like, yo, I love you. And when I'm with you, when you come to my place, don't come with your child. But how, do, how does or, it work if you love the woman but not the kid? Yes, that's yes. what I'm about to get. Because that's what he was speaking about, of which I don't agree with him. You right? see, uh, I don't need to take care of your kid. Yeah. But also, I don't need to have any disdain or dislike for your child. Exactly. You can't tell a woman. Like... Hey, man, miss me. If any woman's going to tell me that I'm putting my child first before them, of course, it's my child. And also, they need to accept my child, Yeah. right? You don't need to necessarily tell my child you love her. Mm. You don't need to buy my child anything. You don't need to support my Except. child. But what you will do is respect my child mm. and be human to my child, yeah. right? And I would say, you need to like my child. Yeah. Let's be honest, yeah. right? Don't yeah. overly... Bombarded with fake love, or right, but you need to like my child because yeah. my child is of me. Yes, and if you love me with all my good traits and bad traits and good things and bad things, why can't you love me with my innocent things, such as my child? She's innocent after yeah. all, yeah. you know. So I don't think I don't know if the broader context was about because I agree with him. Then if he's saying I don't need to support your child, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Till till I'm also, ready. Yes, till. We are living under one roof yes. with your child. Because as a man also, it's foul of you to take a woman with her child, marry her, put them under one roof, and then do things for your child Ch and not things for her child. Because as a man, then you will need to, you know, also look after that child. Do you get me? Yeah. And also, there's also another thing of, is the father willing and is the father there? It's always better when the father is not there and not willing and not interested. Exactly. Because you can fully assume the role. Unlike coming now and the father's like, why is Saul paying for the school fees of my child? Why is Saul playing a father in my child's life when I'm here and I can do that? Exactly. Because you also need to respectfully give him the space yep. to be a father, you know? So I don't know what context, but from hearing it, he's wrong to say uh, you can't love the, the, the child as well. You love the mom and you knew it's not like the mom was like, a year into the relationship, surprise, I come with a child. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, and I'll some be women are foul because well. some women don't say that they've got kids. Yeah. Because you need to allow the man to 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 put his preference forward. And guys right? to also lie about not having kids. And that's bullshit, because you need to allow the woman. Or, or wives. Yes. Or our wives. Yes. Or families. Yes. Or families. Yes. Hey. <laughs> they stay with yes. their sister hey. and yes. his children. <laughs> yeah. And you need to declare, because you need to allow someone 
to let their preference kick in before moving forward with you. And there's nothing wrong with dating people with strictly saying, I do not want to date someone who's got a daughter yes. or a child. Child, yeah. You know, you need to, because you need to know that this person has a child and in their list of priorities, it's their child first. Then it might be you, right? And so you need to also allow that person to say, Unum dana. No, thank you. Do you go through that, Dudu? Because uh, you got a child. What do your yeah. girlfriends say? <laughs> um, so, Mac. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's got a strap on. What do they say? Uh, <laughs> Mac. Zoksua, Mac. <laughs> yeah, but um, with me, it's you don't introduce everyone to your child, everyone you date. So if we're dating, it does not necessarily mean you have to meet my child. Mm. They're not your responsibility. Mm. He does have his own father. Mm. And so it's not really, for me, it's not really much of a difficult conversation. I'm just, I do have a child. And if you're not into that, then you're not into it. It's it's just as simple as that. But you let it be known yeah. from the get-go, no, from right? the get-go. And they don't from need the, to meet your child. They don't They just need to. to know. Yeah, because it, Bro, actually, it doesn't have anything right, to do so, with Because I know a friend, I know a friend who was um, dating. Um, so they had broken up with the baby daddy. And then she started dating this guy, right? And this guy was like, no, listen, um... I'll take care of your kid. I'll support you guys. Don't worry. Mm. And she said, she broke up with him because like, no, why? This kid has his own father. The father takes care of the kid. Why? That's dramatic. And because of that, she broke up with the That's nigga. That's dramatic. I kid you not. Unless she said, she could have just said, nah, it's cool. The dad is there and involved. Then it's fine. Unless he insists, then mm. that's weird. Mm. You know? But I'm just saying, can you see the levels how deep this thing can get? Yeah, 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 yeah. But also that's, I think you're explaining it like just, you know, because surely there was an extensive conversation and he wanted to forcefully insert himself in the child's life. Mm. And you can't do that. Bro. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. You, you can't. Don't try to be a hero, man. You know, some women just want love. They don't want a hero. And someone's going to say, I'll take care of your child. I'm here. Yeah. I'm nah, the man. Yeah. So that's also weird. Like. Even when you date me, don't try to, you know, be all motherly and mother, mother to my child. But when the time does come where you meet my child, obviously, you need to be very decent to my child. Because so we've does, all heard of stepmoms from hell. Does your, does your woman have the power to, like, reprimand your child? Um, We're not there yet, uh -huh. but she would. Yeah, because a child is a child. It takes a village. So if the next door neighbor can do that, why can't my woman do it? So she can smack your child? Smack? Mm. I don't smack my child, mm. Mm. right? Her, my, baby mama, I believe does, mm. right? But I don't smack my child. And also, it depends on what. You know what I mean? It super depends. But I'm, 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 I'm gravitating towards now. Nah. Hey, this thing is too This is soft parenting. You know, I, I, yeah, like a, a kid will understand being smacked by the next door neighbor if I'm up in G's, you know, because it's their house and your mom is most likely going to say, yeah, Veli, you committed a crime. Maybe you must be punished. Mm. But there's already these pre, like, you know, like notions when there's a kid and a stepmom and there's that awkwardness of oh, you meant to be a mother to me, even though I do have a mom. So when it gets to the point of smacking, it could make things go down it's south. Tricky, man. Tricky, very yeah. fast. Very fast. Even though Uma Kelwane or someone in the village can, because but there's already that awkwardness and that disconnect of, oh, you're with my dad, but mom is home. Oh, you meant to be mom number two. Already there's that skepticism from the kid mm. towards the, 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 the mom, which makes it very tricky on can a stepmom smack a child. Mm. I think at a later stage, when the kid beyond reasonable doubt knows that and feels yeah. safe in the stepmom's, uh, 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 under the stepmom's guidance, feels loved. Because she, she could be mad at you and take it out of the kid. And just smack him. Yeah. Because he like, came home late or something. Exactly. That's Oof. the problem, you know. Ish. I think if you ever have to discipline your child, let it be a parent, you know. Just yeah. 
let the it be needs, the parents. Yeah. So I'd, 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 preferably it would be that your 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 woman would rather tell you and say this is what um, she did, and then let the discipline come from you but, than her. But but no 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 discipline. She's allowed to tell the child. You, what you've done is wrong. This is not right. Oh, okay. She's yes. allowed to tell the child, uh, 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 before you go out, put the plate in the sink. You know, you just ate. You can't put the plate. They wouldn't do that. Mm-hmm. She's oh, got the right to tell my child, we no, don't but, but bounce so on the couch about, like no, that. I'm talking about it's things wrong. that are heavy. Not like, like smacking. Yes. She can discipline the child. Yes, Definitely, because yeah. she's an adult at the end yeah. of the day. You know, but smacking the child can easily send the wrong messages, exactly. especially when there's still that awkwardness of yes. stepmom, child. There's always that awkwardness. Till we're beyond that place where she feels like, yeah, this is... I really love Auntie Subanbani. You know what I mean? Then, yeah, she can because the child knows without a doubt that, that it's not it's coming from a place yeah. of resentment because mm. she is not her child. This is why they say, let's make it work for the kids, man. There's too many things you open up when you... Hey, make it work for the kids, bro. Nah. <laughs> never. Hey, bro, there's the no love. Nah. Ah, never. Ah, never. Ah, there's too many scenarios, you know dog. Oh. It's too much, bro. Yeah. I'm having a headache. I'm not even in this. Exactly. I'm having a headache. Yeah. Remember I sat in the yeah. seat and said, if you can, you know, not have a child until you know that this is the person you want to be with for the rest of your life. True. Because having a child, bro, and then there's a baby mama yeah. complicates things. That's why if a woman says to me, I can't date you because you've got a child. I don't want to be part of the awkwardness of stepmothering. Maybe sometimes you have a toxic baby mama. Mm-hmm. I, it's not my cup of tea, right? It's the situation is messy. They're not saying my child is messy. That situation, situation. is messy. Yeah. And guess what? That situation is fucking messy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The game, man, I respect that. I'm like, walk away. It's fine. Have you tapped already at that time? Hmm? Have you tapped already? I don't know because uh, it depends. Sometimes you only ask one another's names after you've tapped. <laughs> so you don't even get to the part of, oh, I've got a child, by the way. Oh, oh, you got a child? Oh, what's your name, by the way? Oh, okay. Give us all what do we call this? <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. So it depends, man, you know? But like, it's it's very messy, bro. It, but like, making it work is not something I won't do because it eventually will backfire on the kids either way because the frustrations will find a way of seeping out. We could do a whole podcast on this, man. Yeah, yeah. no, we could. Ghost Lady, what you got for us? My Pepandaba. Oh, some ah, stories. Of course. <laughs> okay, Mkosi. Mkosi. Um, wife and DJ Dimpo um, got slapped with a protection order and this is for fighting over a man. Who's Dimpo now? Uh, one of the uh, wife and DJs. Mkoto. Wife Dimpo, Dimpo. Yes. Dimpo. What, what show does she do? now, bro. Yeah. Huh? What show does she do? I just know Mlungi, see, Extreme. She does what? Ayanda. The weekend, weekend show. Weekend show. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, sign. Okay, no wonder I don't know because I was like, hey, okay. Has um, anyone heard her show here? I think I've, I've heard Dimpo Dimpo. Is it Dimpo Dim something? I've heard of the show, man. We don't know what's my lunch. What's your Sunday lunch? What's your Sunday lunch, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is yeah, it not yeah. on Saturday also? I've heard her talk about asking people what they eat Saturday on Sunday, Sunday lunch. Oh, remember, we were listening to her, Mac. There was a when? time we, <laughs> when we were driving here mm. and we were listening to radio. Mm. And then on Saturday, we was asking, what are you eating? And we are like, but it's not even a weekday. <laughs> remember when we were asking her? <laughs> it's like, how, what kind of... Oh, was that Dimpo? I, yeah, I think it's her. Man, I don't get people who fight for people. Like, why do you fight for a woman or fight for a, a man? Like, can't the man just choose who he wants to be with? Like, why do you fight? <sighs> they must ask tips from, um, who's this guy? Jarid on Big Brother. Ah, that's what did he do? He's got two wives there and a what? side chick. No way! <laughs> <laughs> You're also so the nigga. two women. You're yeah. something that time. I told you, you remember. remember. Yeah. What else was I too? Yeah. What else was I too? Balala saw, boy, see. What else was I too? Yeah. Balala charity in any way. Shit. No way. Charity. You're so fucking mad. Oh, 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 man. That's my nigga, bro. And you said it's doable. Yeah. <laughs> bro, yeah. I thought that's impossible. <laughs> that's why you didn't win, my man. You should have gotten two wives, my man. Damn, bro. Whoa, charity. I was so long, I know yet. That kind of shit gets you votes, though, right? Yeah, like man. getting laid in the house yes. and, and and that, which shows you how fucked up the society, society is. is yeah. Let's shit talk, man. <laughs> like, you're a big brother, right? A reality show, you go naked, my poor, now you fuck someone. And, uh, you know, you, you get popular. 
popularity. People want to be entertained, like, dog. Even old Abba Mama will love you for that. Yes. Because people like, want to be entertained, dog. Damn. Because he's going to get massive votes for don't that. Come here with your mental health issues. We don't give a shit, dog. Or read the Bible. <laughs> get there on Big Brother, read the Bible. Watch. Read the Bible. It's... You got to get voted out. We won. But I think I found the secret to winning Big Brother. Society, what? man. You got to be the underdog. Chattery is not the underdog, though. Huh? I don't think the guy. No, no, he's not going to win it. He's not going to win it. But. Uh, oh, Makeke will win. Makeke. I think Makeke or Yolanda. I've seen Makeke. Yeah. His yeah. profile but is. But the key is you have to be. Don't part. Because, like, when you're in the house, right? Mm-hmm. What I've seen is, like, there's clicks. Yeah. There's always a cool click who think they're running shit, yeah. but they're not. And then the people <laughs> on the outskirts are the ones people rally behind. Oh. So that becomes love. Uh, an underdog. Yes. Okay. I just think so Yolanda has been up for eviction like since it started and yeah. she doesn't get voted out. Okay. But no one in the house likes her. Yolanda's not the virtual ego. Yeah, man. yeah no one yes. likes her. Yes. And, but, but, but people outside love, love her. her. Okay. And, and then, they'll always save her by not voting her out. Dango. So they don't like her. Why? Why? Because they say she's loud. Uh, she's very opinionated. She's being herself. Remember, they're all there like being fake, no one really is being themselves except a couple, like maybe Liema, okay. uh, Yolanda, Makeke, for example. But the rest are really like all trying to be kumbaya, buddy, buddy. Oh, hey, it? I love nah. you. You won't vote for me. Boom, nah, boom. Nah, 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 but nah. they're not people entertaining are... the fans, which yeah. is what people want. Get people something, man. Yes. They're too much concerned about the house. Like, it's like they're on vacation, you know? Like, uh, they don't want to step in each other's they toes. They need to launch their careers, some of them. Yes. You get a sense they need to launch their careers. Yes, yes, yes. You really watch the stuff. I love it, bro. I'm actually, I was I about to say the same thing. Men watch Big Brother like, worry me, You're really unemployed. Like, hey, hey, if it. Joseph died was on Big Brother, I'd know him, my man. That's how much I love it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> you should be a host or something. You must make you host. Oh, no, no, I hate that shit. No, no, no. Hey, I can't do that. Thing. <laughs> anyway, anything if else you got? If they do a Big Brother All Stars, yeah? would you... Would you go in? Nah, 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 nah. You wouldn't do Big Brother? I make wouldn't do Big Brother. Nah, I wouldn't do Big Brother. Why not? I'm a very private guy, eh? <laughs> Funny enough. <laughs> and you tried every day <laughs> because of your mouth. I like my own space, man. I just like my own space, man. Yeah, man. Why else my paper under? So, um, Tembingo Siloch and um, uh, Tana, Natasha Tahani, they broke oh, up. Gosh. And she released a statement, you know, just to let us know that Tembingo Did she release a statement when she, uh, when they started dating? No, did so. Why is she releasing a statement now? Because oh, yeah. people figure out they they date it. Yeah. Then it became in the public domain. So you just we have to just say it instead of it being like rumors. So it's like okay, let me just give you an official statement, guys. Yes, we have broken. And also, people, Mac, let's be honest. They're like saying, yeah, the, your relationship was public. Why are you not announce exactly to us, the stakeholders yes. that uh, you now <laughs> are no longer together? So I get where she's coming from. Yeah. You know, you kind of have to. You I know, don't because care about it became public mm. when you guys started. So therefore, it's only fair to let everybody know. So that, so that when he's out there with someone, they're not, they won't make a whole article. Oh, I get you. Yeah. She's like, oh, she's oh, yeah. on her yeah. face. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. So I get it, I get it. Yeah. Yeah, but we could have seen that coming, man. The guy's at the prime of his career, man. He's getting offers left and right, man. Also, just lo- uh, got found guilty, wasn't he? For that domestic violence there case of his. Yeah. Maybe that's got something to do with it as well. Because mm. Natasha's also, a, is she at the top of a career? I think she is. So mm. maybe her team was like, this is bad for the brand. You're dating someone who's a convicted abuser. It's bad. Mm. Found guilty. Was, uh, was the case before or after they dated? Uh, during. During. Ooh. During. It came out during by an, an ex, was it an ex-girlfriend or by the lady he, he was with? Mm. So it was during. Mm. Yeah. So it could be that also. Mm. But it goes will drop you fast when you know. But you gotta have balls to, do, to date a. Uh, <laughs> you gotta oh. you gotta be brave to date a soccer player, man. Like those guys are players of note. Like. Yeah, I'm a soccer. I mean, hence the sport they play. Uh, <laughs> I'm a soccer. No, would, would you date a soccer player, Gosling? No, I wouldn't. Why? I don't like I don't like people in that like public eye. Oh, okay, I'm, okay, okay. So it's not just soccer players. Yeah. So mm. just don't you mean quiet comfort? Yes. 
I got a friend there, so they broke his heart. Ne? Uh, I need a name for him so I can tell the story. You need a name for him? Yeah. I don't, uh, wanna, I don't wanna know, man. Not choose someone. <laughs> call him. What should we call him? <laughs> call him, call him, call him Mike. Mike. Yeah, Mike. Mike. So Mike, they really broke his heart, bro. And mm. since then, every week, I kid you not, I think we must start a series. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> On TikTok. <laughs> every week he's dropping uh statuses. Because he's hurt, dog. Must I read you some of the statuses? Yeah, please. please I please. think every week I'll have different statuses to read you guys. I kid you not. Oh, every yeah. week. Yo, Mike, this is, is Mike. Is it not daily? Yeah, daily, some, but weekly there has to be. How long was he dating his girl? Uh, he dated her for like a few years, maybe four or five. Damn. I could be mistaken, but okay. it was quite a long time, but she really hurt him. Yeah. So since then, he's on that I hate women bag. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, he's in his... Ah, oh, fuck you, you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't want you back. Ah, oh, yeah. So here, yeah. Here's, yeah. Here's, here's the status number one. Oh, yeah? Sometimes, Bao replace a cascobo. Sahu ta lifa because... Uchipia Staela. Damn! Shot five! <laughs> what? What, what, what does that mean? Tr- translation? <laughs> I heard, I heard about, about the place with an ugly person. Yes, yes. Okay. Oh, boy, I understand. Uchalif is being smart. Yeah. Being smart. So it's an ugly person, Sahu Chalifela. Because Uchipia Staela. What does that mean? I don't know. What does that mean? Uh, oh, because the girl Uchipi for an ugly person. Oh. Eh? Yeah. Who's petty? What's that petty? It sounds pitori to me. Kiss pitori. Pitori guys. What can, you, can you translate for us? Then? Okay, read it. Read it and then read it and then translate oh, shame, for us. Man. Mike. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Mike. Poor Mike. <laughs> yes, Mike. Sometimes Bao replace our score was our talif because of cheapy as client. Understand? Meaning? So basically, so. Uh, Okay, sometimes so he's, 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 he's saying that he's, he's really being hurt. replaced by a scobo. You understand? Scobo sao talefa because the lady kichipi as So she's just a pretty Yeah. Oh, kichipi, she's hot, but she's an yeah. idiot. Oh. oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh. So she's getting what she deserves. Oh. Scobo sao tlael. Because bo- the, both of them bas tlael. <sighs> but what? But what? The poor guy is ugly. They're singing up. Because... <laughs> Because now he's making it sound like he, the girl left him mm. and she's an idiot to choose someone uglier. Uh, yeah, it sounds like she's yeah. an idiot for choosing someone ugly. 100%. And what does look have to do with it? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. With guys, I mean, maybe... you're a fish. I'm a what? Tortoise. No, uh, we're squ- not. Squirrel. 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 How? Maybe he's... the guy treats her better. Maybe the guy treats her better. <laughs> or maybe the guy has money. We don't know, man. Blobfish and squirrel. Yeah, so it's funny. So she literally went and like, what does this nigga look like? <laughs> <laughs> wow. I share time for y'all. I share time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, cool. Never compete with someone that has already concluded they're better than you. Mm-hmm. Some battles you can win, you can win them without doing nothing, just by looking and walking away. Shame. Not my chest pains, yo. Yeah, my chest pains. Here's the next one. Part of healing, man, you know? Yeah. Get you a partner that doesn't mind hurting people's feelings when it comes to you. I must say it again. Get you a partner that doesn't mind hurting people's feelings when it comes to you. Damn, that's... Mm. I wish I could ask Mike, man, to break it down. Yeah, let's call Mike. Let's call Mike. <laughs> yeah, let's call Mike. <laughs> like, nah, let him break it down, bro. Like, let him break it. Yeah, let's call Mike. About that. Like, because uh, also... Here's the last one. Here's the last one. I survived too many storms to be bothered by raindrops. My <laughs> car. <laughs> now he's not gonna post any more statuses, dog. There goes the series. There goes the series. Let me call it. Hey, but he's just painting, eh? He's just painting, yo. 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 Yo, Mike. Yo. What? What is a poison? 
Yeah, you live on podcast and chill, man. So Penduka is here, ghost ladies here, ne? Yo. <laughs> Hi, Mike. For the purpose of this conversation, your name is Mike, not. Not. <laughs> 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 so, so, so listen, I, I was telling the guys that, you know, you had your heart broken, you've been chest painting, you've been uh, uh, putting up some status on your WhatsApp, which I read to them, and they got a couple of questions they want to ask you, man. Yo, bro, what did the girl do? What happened? Mm. Yo, I thought, you guys are putting on his board. No, man, it's so, and I was made, bro. Oh, he was married. Uh, Even worse. Oh, damn. It's a, it's a, it's a divorce thing now. Damn, yeah, man. Fuck. Uh, yeah, bro. Uh, Marriage, guys. I was, <laughs> I was married and um, she, she cheated on me before. And she fell pregnant. You uh, my fucking you don't give a karma. <laughs> yeah, man. So, and you know, and you know, you know who's the right part? Yeah. You know who? You know who raised my mom? There's what? It gets worse. Yeah, the person that actually raised alarm is actually my wife. I mean, like was my wife. I mean, you know the guy with my girlfriend. Hey, bro. Your your heart is beating on you, bro. And I think you got a, I think you're a good man. I'm like, hey, bro. What the fuck? So I didn't believe the nigga. Then he was like, it's okay, send me a vacation. So I was like, you mean, no, we're going to fight. Oh, the guy comes, picks me up, drops me where my check was. Then, then I get there, it's in the hospital, and then um, I'm seeing the nigga running away. But I'm not, in my head, I'm like, ah, man, can't be that guy, bubble. So I'm asking her why she was in the hospital. Then she told me how she... She's pregnant at all. Yay, yay, yay. Then, then, I so I had to, uh, no, so I, I started calculating him. And then I, then I started to see photos, but she brought me from WhatsApp interests and uh, Facebook interests. And then she, she forgot to block some friends of mine that are on her, and, mm. on, on, on her website. Oh, yeah. Then, then she put a data saying, uh, nothing can separate the two of us, no matter what. Holding the guy's head, I mean, the way someone, you know that break by half the years for? Yeah. Yeah. So the way there, my man, like there, holding hands. So I so the guy three months on uh, um, the photo, sent it to me. Then from there, I think the guy, I found another guy from North mm. Um. So I made the guy to confess, my man. Tell me, actually, for how for how long has the guy been coward? My boy, and the guy told me everything, though, like everything. And the hand started confessing, telling me, "Ah, uh, no, we've been saying it, but I'm I'm sorry." And um, yo, but uh, Mike, we we survived too many storms <laughs> to be bothered by raindrops. My man, do you know how many men have been cheated on? And they don't know. Ah, oh, a lot, a lot, a lot. Women are the best cheaters, bro. And men are being abused. Bro, hey, bro, let me tell you something. Right now, anything with a woman is it, a risk. You date a woman, you are in a relationship, you do everything for her, she cheats on you. When you catch her, she expects you to forgive. You know? By that time, by that time, my man, you, you start to like nobody's business. You never hurt. She even had my card, though. My bank card, fighting for the leg. How much did you pay for La Bola, Mike? You know, hey, but 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 I'm here also. I'm not. I'm not happy. Uh, 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 how, how much did you pay? Business. Yeah, how much did you pay for La Bola, Mike? Hey, uh, you know, I can't. I can't. I can't just close, bro. I mm. can't just close because people know my voice anyway. They know who I am. Bro, you say you've healed, but I mean, uh, these statuses that Meg will read to us, your WhatsApp status says, don't sound like you've healed, man. Mm. Well, let me tell you something, dog, man. Um, the problem is, man, um, okay, I'll tell you something. I'm over 40, right? And um, I've healed in a way that I'm not in pain anymore, but I know that many men that are going through what I went through. Mm. You see, 
up, 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 up to that day. You know, I had depression, I had anxiety. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was suicidal. Yeah. So, so, so I, 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 I managed to, to survive. So what I'm doing now, what I'm doing now, I'm trying to help many people. Like I have one nigga. I got one nigga. His name is Louis. Um, he, he has like three kids with the heart, and then they were living together. The heart goes to goes to my hiring this past December. This past December, though. Yeah. The hand comes back. Okay, well, before the hand comes back, he SMSs the guy. He tells him, you know what? Um, I think we, we, we need to call it Chris. Hey, so the guy is like, I'm, I'm a, it can't be right. Okay? Hey, hey, Mike, so I've got, I've got, tells, wait, hold on, Mike. I've got another status here from you. <laughs> I don't want to read. Here's, this is Mike Penduka. He goes, dear ladies, here's a little secret. Do you know that you are the most powerful spiritually when you're on your periods? Mm. Hence, during that yeah. time, hormones are high. Satan is testing you. And that's because you're not doing anything that could make you dirty, if you know what I mean. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, it's a fact, though. Let me tell you something. We all know that. Please explain that. that. No, uh, let me tell you something. Women, women are very strong creatures, man. man they, they, they got a gift. You know, that's why they can handle, they can handle pain. So, so in that period, when, during the, the, the menstruation moment, they must actually, um, they actually think to themselves, they need to, um, if it's about pain, so I take pain, the moment, I can say we can move pain, that's cool, so I can say my pain. Uh, so I can say pain, 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 I get all here, I'll just see that, that's why, the weakest, Nah. And by that time, they're pure. They're very clean from the sky. They're pure. You got this up in the town, the Arab, the Arab, the Arab, the Arab, if you understand what I mean. But people that are spiritual, they understand what I'm saying. No, Mike, uh, it's we, just we, like, I don't know. No, Mike, the, the yeah. network is not that great. We need to have you in studio, man. Yeah. So the chillers must comment below. Comment with the cheating emoji if you want him to come on the podcast. <laughs> which, which one is the cheating emoji? Yo. <laughs> Mike D. Mike D. Sure, Mike. Mike D. Remember, 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 remember what I said uh, on the other day. I think it was last week. And also said last week. I said, if, if you don't have access to a phone, then you are not alone. Yeah, you are he not said if you don't have that, access to a phone, you are not alone. Yeah. You are, not, you are not guaranteed that you are alone. Yes. If you don't have access to, to your a phone, phone, you are not, not alone. alone. Mike, thank you so much, man. Let us know if you want Mike. You, do you guys want Mike here? And we need Mike here. Should hey, I bring Mike? Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> hey so we can name hey, proper. divorce makes you a specialist. Uma, <laughs> Uma woman, a spirituality. <laughs> Una ma quote. If you are not, if, if, if you don't have access to a phone, phone you, you are, are not, not alone. alone. <laughs> that's, that's, that, that's powerful. I think a lot, a lot of guys will be like, damn. <laughs> right? Mm. Hey, I'm Do you have access to a phone? <laughs> you know, it's boom. If this, if if you have, if you're having Mike to uh, for the men's conference, then you know what? We allow men to go. Yeah, it's fine. This mm. this kind of men's conference uh, is needed. Uh, he's calling me again. Yeah. We unleashed a monster now. <laughs> <laughs> he's calling me again. Uh, he wants to take it all out. He must he have was a like, he's like, yo, I've been waiting for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shame, man. It's gonna Shame, be okay. Man. It's gonna be crazy. Yeah. Mike must have a segment. You know, let's call so Mike. The wife cheated. And she got pregnant. Damn, bro. Oh, man. That's, that's, that's crazy. That's wow. Oh, fuck. Hey, women are wild, man. Ha <laughs> guys. Until you hear the story. You know what? If there's one thing I, I believe in is that if you hear the story one side, it's, there's also another side. No, no matter how I know, bad, I know where you're going. No I know where you're going. No matter how bad, like that, yeah, wow, 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 wow. Until you sit down with both persons. Because you'll also hear her side, and then you'll also be shocked. Like, ah, how could Mike do that? Let's get, let's get Mike's women as well. They must come together. Exactly. Mike's women, if you're watching, come. We <laughs> <laughs> must get both of them. So and on the, the other side, side, what do you think it could be? I'd, it can be anything. But Maybe I'm just... it was abusive? Yeah. True. Yes, exactly. You cheated multiple times. So it's just times. when... Just when he was just saying, okay, for, this is just like us. Or maybe he's got a child out of wedlock. Maybe There's he a had a things. child. There's a lot of things, like she said. Yeah, because sometimes people do wrong and they expect the other person to forgive and it's okay. But the time 
you they you feel like okay now I've changed my life now I'm serious I'm going to do right the other person is going I'm fed up and I'm going to Yeah do generally wrong. women will hurt you if yeah. they are hurt generally yes sometimes yeah. sometimes yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes. sometimes sometimes not that any reason is valid you know yeah. like but Oksala you said there's always two sides of a story no matter how bad You'll be but shocked. I think divorce is the best outcome here, as opposed to maybe him thinking it's his child and finding out mm. 30, 40 years down the line. Yeah. You know, I think divorce is the best outcome. Sometimes divorce is the best outcome. As tragic as it is, it's the best outcome. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, on a lighter note, are you guys ready to hit the road? Hey. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Oh, it, Striped no. Horse presents the podcast and chill live nation tour. Ooh. We're going to be touching down in Limpopo, KZN, Western Cape, Eastern Cape, Northwest, and Pumalanga, and the Free State, bringing nothing but dope madness of the podcast directly to you. So get your tickets online right now at Quicket. Uh, so we're starting off in Durban, Ghost yeah. Lady. Yes. At Durban. Izulu Theatre in Mtlanga on the 9th of March. Uh, it's going to be myself, you, Penduka, the whole team. Mpo Pops from Popcorn and Cheese is going to be hosting. Shlonga. We've got Babes Weduma performing. Oh, shut up, Babes. We've got Sfiso Nene joining us as well. Oh, I'm coming oh, no, And apparently here, okay, it says, the excitement friend. doesn't stop there. KZN's home royalty, Babes Ultima will be delivering a mesmerizing live performance and adding to the night's excitement. Our special guest, guest and friend of the show, Oh, Nizwe Mkuno. How oh, yes. oh, yes. oh, yes. oh, yes. oh, yes. yeah. right. When did that happen? When did you when did you get that over the line? Wow. Wow. Wait, well, he didn't force us, right? He didn't go like you in Durban, you cannot not have him. Because yeah. we've heard he he claims yeah. he owns Durban, he says. <laughs> like you can't come to Durban and not talk to me. Uh, Cape Town is still leading ticket sales Ooh. But uh, ticket sales in KZN are catching up nice. Shout out shout So out, we KZN. look forward to seeing you And if you're a super chiller You already know that uh, By being a super chiller You can come do the whole meet and greet And chill with us behind the stage oh, At yeah. the events All of them like in, in, in all the provinces Oh wow Because we never do anything for our super, super chillers, chillers. Yeah, 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 super chiller high Yeah, yeah <laughs> <laughs> He so he is a super chiller. Super and chiller. High. Big shout out to our official transport sponsor. We're going to be driven by Ferro Auto Investments. Mm. So shout out to Scott from Ferro Group. I made up with him last week. Great shout guy, out man. Scott, hey. Yeah, man. Also, Easy Bates will be an associate sponsor. They're going to rock with us on Free State and the Limpopo leg of the tour. Yeah. Oh, and to all corporate chillers who want to rock with us and sponsor the tour or parts of the tour, feel free to hit us up on advertising at thisismegg.com. But I can't wait to get on the road, more especially to see the chillers in the other provinces, yeah. but being on the road with you guys as well, because it's always a I movie. Bye, Scott! He's going to be lit. Yeah. I think I want to do edibles this time. Are you guys doing edibles? Yeah. Yeah. Edibles! Yeah, I think. You <laughs> ready for edibles, man? You ready for edibles? It's time we cut tail, man. It's time. What's on the week? Enjoy, man. Good yeah. luck with the edibles, bro. How do you think I got the membership? Yeah, oh. <laughs> You qualified to get you. You qualified for Gold Rip City, now. <laughs> for the Gold Rip City trips. <laughs> hey? No, I'm kidding, oh, man. man. Can we document the first time I take edibles? I wanna, I wanna see what's gonna happen. I you mean cool. you've never taken the edibles? I'm scared of drugs, bro. Like, I'm a chicken, bro. Like, I kid you not. Oh, I'm chicken, It's bro. not drugs, uh-uh. Oh, whatever. It's, it's called. Yeah. Drugs, whatever man. you guys call it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Yes, sir. My yeah. It's just sweets. Eh? It's just sweets. Yeah, but Look, I like being in control, Coasty. <laughs> you, don't lose, you don't lose control. You do, man. No. You Remember when a lady took them when we were coming from Botswana? Yeah. <laughs> this year, I, I flew back. Oh, you flew back? Yeah, you were driving yeah, yeah, yeah. When you guys... And you hit that thing on the road that they placed. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yes, and I, yes, yes, back. Yes. I, I flew back. So the drive was about an two hours, ne? hour and a half. She heard one song the whole time. <laughs> well, you, <laughs> see, that's what right. edibles me. <laughs> <laughs> Go <laughs> deeper in life, then I'm edibles. <laughs> All right, cool, man. Ghost Lady, anything else you want to say? I'm good. You're going back to Cape Town now? Yes, I'm going back yeah, to Cape Town. Soft life, good yeah. night. Yeah. What are you literally flight? in Cape Town? Yeah. You flew for the show? Yeah. Wow. Damn, shout, shout out, out, man. That's beautiful. Yeah. What is the vacation? Yes. Yeah. 
Oh, beautiful. No, it you fly sisters. like you're going in and out of Alex or something. Hi. Like, oh. That's beautiful. Like it's an oop. <laughs> Shout out. Beautiful, beautiful. Paduka, you off to Miami. I'm off to Miami, Yay. guys. I'll come back on Friday. Yay. See you Friday. See you Friday. Yeah, yeah, See you Friday. Yeah, yeah. See you Friday. Oh. What are you expecting? What have, what, what have people been telling you about Miami? Like, Not much. Expected? I haven't yeah. heard anything, yeah. which I like because then there are no expectations. It's just I'm going to have fun. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. You're going alone with the road By manager? myself. By yourself. Oh. Alone. One man. Are you ready for the flight? It's long, bro. It's long. Yeah, yeah. I've got two books. So I'll be fine. Oh, yeah. I've okay. got books. I'll be fine. Uh, Please which books? Buy a packet of chips. Uh, Elon Musk. I bought Elon Ooh. Musk's book. Mm. Um, his a uh, thingy, biography, and then there's another book, Think Fast, Think Slow, mm. um, that I've been meaning to like read. I got into it, but I haven't like completed. What's that about? Think fast, think slow. It's like sounds like edibles type of shit. <laughs> nah, it's just about like how humans behave and think. And yeah, it's more, it's not a novel or anything, yeah. Or it's like more of a um, non-fiction book. Mm. Yeah. How, how, how are you going to know how humans be? Because we're all different. It's not, it's the basic. Maybe like human psychology. It's the basic, Just... the basic foundation that we all have. Mm. You know, it's not exactly like how. Like you can preempt people's actions and stuff, but it explains how we get to making decisions mm. or what influences that. Read it for yourself, bro. I just got into it. <laughs> like, just read it for yourself. I just got into the book. I'm like five pages into the book. So yeah, yeah. I can fully tell what it's about when I'm done. Yeah, yeah. And I've bought it, like I've, it's been a while since I bought it. But now I'm going to just use the opportunity to just, you know, read yeah. and enjoy it. All right, cool, and man. the Elon Musk book, hopefully. All right, cool, man. So uh, uh, um, we've got um, chillers coming through. Find a chiller. Oh, yeah. Yes. yes. We've got two chillers coming through. Yes. And then we're going to chat to the, ga- uh, the guys at uh, Kia. Kia. Kia the Clean. Oh, Kia Clean. Kia, Kia, Kia the Clean. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, once again, I do apologize to Joseph Dari. Were you guys happy with my apology? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully he was as Were well. you happy, dude? Yeah. You was fine? Are you happy, Cebu? Cebu? Cebu is not You are not happy? Ah, which last what statement? No, it's that one. It's fine. Okay, That's, give her the mic. What that statement? That marbafana, eh? That yeah. marbafana, eh? Oh. oh, you don't like that one? Yeah. Okay, hey, so one? I was doing well until then. So we must move that one. Wait, 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 wait. Say, say that again. No, I'm just saying, do not remove it, but just add emphasis. Because saying bayafana is like you're justifying everything. Ah, uh, no, but just I, say I'm sorry and it's done. I'm sorry, it's done. It's done. Casual. Hey, so, so you got a you got a Kia, ne? Yeah, yeah. I've got a Sportage. Oh, why did you get a very beautiful car? Why did you get a Kia? If I say so myself. Uh because I was looking for a car that was big enough for the family, mm. comfortable, um, with good technology, mm. most importantly. And I mean cars are, are, are pretty costly these days, mm. but I was also looking for so I had three options, right? Um, there was a, a Toyota Rav Four, mm-hmm. and that mainly. They still make Rav Fours. Yeah, they yeah they do. Oh, wow. They do. They they make Rav Fours. You've seen a lot of them. Mm. Um, it was that mainly the the two, and then uh, someone threw a spanner in the works with an X3, a BMW. Mm. Then I just did a comparison on, and I'm not really a speed kind of person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even though my car goes, you know. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Then I settled on on the Sportage. It's a really beautiful car, and I don't regret making that decision. Yeah. And that wasn't that wasn't paid for, car. by the way. He honestly means that. You, you yes, saw I know, it. I well, I've had the car for almost two years now. I mean, you saw the car driving in, right? Yeah. yeah. So I mean, how can it be paid for when I bought the car? <laughs> how can it be a paid promo when I've had the car for <laughs> since uh, yeah, two, it's two years now? Yeah. Yeah, 2023 model, but I got it in 2022 late. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, please welcome our friend of the show, Shiksha Singh. She's the new car yeah. sales manager at the Kia Glen. Welcome. Round of applause, everybody. Yeah. Shiksha Singh. Welcome, welcome. welcome. How are you doing, Shiksha? I'm good. Thanks. And you? Great, great, man. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, please tell us why you decided to work with uh, Podcast and Chill, yeah? So, um, we have had a look at Podcast in Chol, okay? And it's an established podcast. We see that you have a lot of uh, chillers following you, yeah. okay? And we thought that it would be a good idea to collaborate with mm. Podcast in Chol so that we can educate your chillers yeah. in terms of um, anything to do with the motor industry, with Kia, the Glen itself, with 
how they can purchase vehicles, give them information on the financing, um, in terms of where they can buy parts and after sales, in terms of after sales. Yeah. So we thought that it would be a good idea, especially in terms of providing Podcast Central with the uh, Kia Pegas yeah. for your crew. Yeah. So that Shout out to them, man. <laughs> Shout out. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, hey, the yeah. guys get so much attention. Have they told you some of the stories? Yeah, yeah. People like people chase them. Chase them. <laughs> they think he's in the car. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, uh, they get to experience it firsthand, you know, so mm. they can see the value of the product that we offer. Yeah, yeah. So we wanted to actually bring that through to your chillers so that, um, you know, we can just be there to educate and help and you know, build, build this relationship that I think can be good for both of us. Fantastic. So the reason we brought you today is because you got something special uh, okay. that you want to tell our chillers because we always give back to our chillers, yeah? Yes, we do. Yes. Okay, so we at Kia the Glen, Dealer of the Year 2023. Oh! Yes, wow. yes. I just got to put that out the there. Wow. I got to put that out there. Wow. So basically what we've done is um, for all the chillers, um, we've decided that we're going to put together a special QR code and if you have family, friends, or yourselves that would like to purchase a new or pre-owned vehicle um, that are looking for parts or for um, service after sales, labor on tow bar fitments or any um, accessory fitments. If you, if you put through this QR code, basically what will happen is that you will get a special discount. Oh, wow. Yes. Wow. Yes. Beautiful. So the QR code, sorry, the QR code is MACG2024. Glen. Okay. Okay. And what this gives you is 20% off your, or 20% discount off the labor for okay. after sales in the service department. Nice. 15% off your parts, original Kia parts. Wow, okay. Beautiful. And then when you're coming through to purchase a new or a pre owned vehicle, you quote the code and basically we will tailor the deal to what you require and we will have a special discount for you. Now, if you refer somebody, let's say that you are not the one specifically looking yes. for the vehicle yes. and you've got a friend or a family member. Yeah, like Sol, I'm referring Sol. Yes. There we go. Mm. So what will happen then is that if you then tell Sol to use the QR code yes. and he buys the vehicle through us, so it's a successful deal, yes. we will then pay you a referral fee. Oh, oh wow. Yes, yes, Beautiful. yes. I think by getting another car, my dog. Win, win. Hey, man, hey, hey. Look, look, yeah, yeah, I might need, you know, and I might need a bigger family car. I'm looking at the carnival. Okay. Especially yes. for the road, yeah, because yes. we rent a lot of cars on the road and it's just Oh, for the gigs and stuff. Yeah, yeah even for the kids, man. Oh, yes, yes, uh, yes. Yeah, because, yeah, I mean, the one is spacious enough, but when I decide to have more kids, a carnival would be best yes, for, for family environment. Yeah, it's a beautiful car. It really yeah, it's is. It's amazing. It's value for money. It's oh. got all the bells and whistles. Oh. I mean, it, and it really just looks beautiful. It's a luxury vehicle. Yeah, it's incredible. Shiksa, thank you so much. Uh, so you're saying that if I go to the Kia Glen specifically. Kia the Glen, yeah. number one boundary road, Oak Dean, Johannesburg South. So I walk in there and I say, hey, listen, I'm a chiller. I've got the code. The code is MACG2024. Glen. 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 No, Glen. not that. Just Glen. Just Glen. Glen. MACG2024 okay. Glen. That's the promo code. Yeah? Yes. So I walk in there, code. I say that, and I get all the specials. Yes. Fantastic. Wow. And please remember that this is only valid for Kia the Glen. Shiksa, thank you so much for your time, yeah? Shiksa Singh. So are, you, are you a chiller, by the way? I am. Ah, she's oh. like... <laughs> That's how Boom. I'm eating. Boom. <laughs> What's your favorite episode? What's your favorite episode? <laughs> the one that you guys had on the other week. Just name we were watching it. What Shut happened in it? So it was the one that you guys were talking about our our Pegasus on. Oh, obviously you had to watch that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was sent by email. A chalas, a chalas, right? <laughs> Shama. Better late than never. Yeah. Okay. Oh. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Oh, Thank you so much, Sweet. <laughs> Penduka, it is time to find a chiller. Oh, yeah. How I've missed found a chiller, man. My favorite part of the show, and we've got the chiller in studio today. So uh, I'm guessing it's because, because it was January. You know, January is tough. Yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, we only raised 32,130 rands. Okay. 74 cents this month okay. uh, on our membership. So by the way, if you want to become a chiller, uh, if you want to fund a chiller rather, just become a member. So all the money that we get from membership yeah. goes to the chillers. Yeah. So if you want to support this movement, just become a member. Uh, you can also uh, purchase a bottle of or a can of uh, Chillers Punch. Uh, that's also going to be contributed into Fund a Chiller as well. Oh, great. Uh, so yeah, so that means we've got two chillers today who won. 
uh, each walking away with 16,065 and 65 rands and 37 cents. Wow. Wow. Beautiful. Each. Beautiful. Uh, please make some noise for the first chiller. Her name is Maki Machema. Maki Machema. She works with partners in mental health and NB, NPO based in uh, in the Val. Their main aim is to alleviate the stigma associated with mental health illness mm. and make mental health education uh, services easily accessible to the community, especially the previously marginalized group. They work mainly with children in schools with learners who have neurodevelopment disorders. What is that, Mikey? Neurodevelopment disorders. Um. First of all, thank you for having me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Shout out to you. you. Thanks for chiller. Thanks thank for being you. a chiller. Yeah, thank and you. for thank your you. great deeds and uh, initi initiatives. Thank you. Mm. Um, so in, in simple, neurodevelopmental disorders, um, at, at this, it's a brain disorder. So basically, you have different kinds. You have um, autism. You have learning disorders such as uh, your dyslexia, your dysgraphia. So they they that they they, they limit your, your 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 ability to to learn, like your your social skills. Maybe with people with autism, usually they have like sensitivity to sound, light, and all of those. Okay. Yes. So last day they ran an awareness campaign for children with autism and donated 20 pairs of school shoes. This year on the 6th of April, we are doing another autism awareness campaign. Round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Not the 26th, the 6th. The 6th of the April. Sixth. Next, yes. 6th of oh. April. Yes. Uh, I heard there's money in mental health. Is that true or not? Crazy money. Yeah. No, I don't have money. I don't know. <laughs> we don't have money. I don't know. Yeah. Especially within our space as an NPO, so we don't get any money. Yeah. We depend on funding. Mm -hmm. And we've only been, um, it's, it's our third year now, so we haven't gotten any funding. So we, we are self-funded. If we have a campaign, then we take from our pockets and, and do the campaign. So the 16,000 from the Chillers, how's it going to help you? Okay, so we are going to split it, right? Yeah. And then um, we're going to have a an agreement with a with a, a store that sells school shoes. Okay. So now what we noticed the last year when we donated shoes is that not every kid need the school shoes. Mm. So say, for instance, we give um, the child this year is wearing size three and then we give them the shoe. They don't wear them because they don't need them at that moment. Yeah, and then yeah. next, day, next year, they, they wearing size four, mm. but then... The shoes is worn out. Mm. They can't wear the, the one that we gave them last year. Mm. So now there's going to be an agreement with the store to say the school can come as and when the child needs um, the pair wow. of shoes. Oh. Okay. Yes, yes. And then the other is going to be for the promotional, uh, the marketing thing. We're going to do posters and flyers, you know, to educate people about autism. She, man, you're shaking. Are you? Are you? Yeah. Yeah, what's going on? Wow. <laughs> wow. It's just so. Wow. It's got shame. What was shame? It's Oh wow. my God, my goodness. Wow. Like, what is it been is it weird like being on the other side? Because yes, you're always watching. Because yeah? I'm always watching and you guys are so chilled. Yeah. Like yo, but being here, it, it's so scary. Uh favorite so scary. favorite show that you like as a chiller? Which one was your favorite? Uh which one? Mm. Okay, the one that I the recent one with the my boo, yeah, Mandela. Oh, you like that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mandela. <laughs> with this part of the speech. <laughs> the Mandela yeah. one. It was like, okay. <laughs> yeah, yes, it was very interesting. Man. It was very interesting. Like, Nali, Babo. Yeah. You couldn't get straight to the point. You couldn't answer. <laughs> Is that why you're not asked. drinking much? <laughs> you don't make the same mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Maki, thank you so much, yeah. man. Round of applause Shout to Maki Maki. Thank you. All right, cool. Let's welcome our next chiller who we are funding. It's Bunamelo Muloi. Hey, Bunamelo. Yeah, he founded the Bunamelo Melisizo Foundation in Davidton. They address youth development and poverty intervention in the community. They offer higher education support through aptitude testing and career guidance and also have social development programs uh, to empower girl and boy children through sports and recreation and gender-based awareness. Round of applause for Bunamelo. Yes, come on. Are you I know this nigga. Oh, from where? Bro? Yeah, this nigga was the head boy at my school, man. Oh, for yeah. real. What year? What year? You're like two years ahead of me. Two five. 
Two or five, right? No, yeah. so you, it was a, a great higher than me. A great higher. Yeah, yeah, what a fucking wow, man. Hey, <laughs> boy. How, how was Saul in, in school? I, I think he was always chill, man. But Saul, you'd always find him in beatboxing. <laughs> rapping, um, rapping, and cyphering. He's beatboxing, he's cyphering, he's rapping, and he's always causing crowds around him. Yeah. But I was a loner, though. It, you, I didn't you, really, he wasn't really in a crew. He wasn't a bad kid, never. Yeah. 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 He was always drawing attention. He was not the one with the attention. So, yeah. And the if, ladies, if do the ladies like, like him? There. Do the ladies like him? Tell the truth. They didn't like me. <laughs> Tell the truth. <laughs> they didn't like me. I mean, be honest, bro. You, know, you don't have to, you know, be honest. I'm, I'm just checking my, my loyalty, you know, because I have to be loyal to you. you know? Yeah, but you know, I had boy, but he was like, you know what I mean? He yeah. was detached from... You know how Matrix are detached from us, grade 11? Of course. Great, yeah. Grade 11s are very detached from the grade 10s. Yeah. So you didn't really know what's happening the, in the our class. Boys, the prefects were like the ministers. Yeah. 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 Well, I, became, I was a prefect. Oh, so wow. that gives you an idea what kind of kid I am. Yeah, yeah. I was a prefect. Wow. And every time the guys needed to make like speeches, you know, there would be weekly speeches on the shoes, how they're looking, the, the you know, like an announcement yeah. from the prefect to the students. I'd, I'd be doing it a lot of times. So, yeah. Yeah, I was a good kid, bro. Uh, yeah. Well, let's talk about your uh, final. Foundation, congratulations. You've won yourself 16,000 rands thanks to the Chillers. Mm -hmm. Thank you so Shout much. Shout out, man. Thank you, thank you, you man. So where does that money go into uh, when it comes to your foundation? What's going to happen with that, with that money? I think, let me also first acknowledge and thank you guys so much. Um, we, we started this application last year and we, we had no hope, you know, because wow. when we understand that, um, such a huge following you have and everyone trying to, you know, to be somewhere with everything. Yeah, we get, we get like a thousand emails a day. A lot, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even in our personal yeah. inboxes. Yeah, people need the help. That's why we yeah. need the membership up, man. At least we can get to 40, 50, ne? The more yeah. you, you sign up, the more we help. The yeah. more we help. Exactly. Yeah. The that more simple. you contribute, the more you help. Yeah. It's that simple. Mm. So that is amazing one. That's Shout amazing. Out, We're very, very humbled, very grateful. Um, and we appreciate it to you guys at the Chillers. Um, please continue. We'll do, man. Thank you. So we are two years old this year. Um, we just turned two now in Jan, uh, 2024 now. And we haven't been funded to date. So just like the previous Chiller, um, most of the events that we do and the programs are self-funded. And then funded as well by family, friends, Got you. and you know, just people who would be Beautiful. touched yeah. about what we are doing. We use social media for most of of, of our PR and marketing. Mm -hmm. So already you get an idea. That's where some of the money will go towards. Ah. Uh, you know, and then you find that because of very limited funding, then you find Bunamelo has a T-shirt. Mm. Um, but the volunteers don't have. Yeah. And then it becomes a huge problem. Of course. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, of course. then you have to take pictures and so forth. And then, but why are we going to get t-shirts? Stuff like that. Mm. So to boost the morale, because we're not able to pay our volunteers mm. to date. Again, because... How many are you? How many are you guys in the foundation? We have 10 right now. And who doesn't have t-shirts? We, I think we have about five. Okay. That don't have t-shirts. No, no, so will fund those. So will fund the t-shirts. Yeah. Thank yeah. you so much, yeah. No, 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 you will, man. Come on, now. Uh, you the captain. You the skipper. You the skipper. So you must like, organize the t-shirts. You need a skipper. Come on. Now consider it done. Consider it done. We'll organize really t-shirts for you guys, man. Really, yeah, really, yeah. really. Bro, I'm just impressed that, you know, you, you're a head boy even after school. How, like, why did you come up with the foundation? You know, what was it that made you decide, you know, to probably, I don't know if you're still in corporate, but just go with all the things you're doing, family and stuff, to do this. Because a lot of people don't give a fuck, you know? If they're good, if their family's soft and sorted, they don't care about everybody else. So why would you go through, you know, that much to fi find a foundation? You know, to be honest, um, I think I've always been a good kid in general. Mm. Um, True. But um, appreciate it, G. However... Growing up in the township um, and such environments, it can be anywhere where, you know, you, the environment is about marginalization. I, I fell into the trap of peer pressure. Yeah. And to some point, I was part of the problem. Mm -hmm. You know, the hot money that I see who are sitting there and you are, you know, they're inspiring you to be like them because they've opened up a boot and it's full of alcohol and everything. And, you know, that's all you're aspiring towards. Mm -hmm. Being a smart kid, I ended up not being a smart kid 
because that's all I could see all around me. Yeah. Wow. And um, I thank God mm. there came a point in time where I was able to be now part of the solution. As you're growing up, you're not able to articulate where you think your purpose is towards. Mm. Mm. And after, you know, I had fumbled a lot of times, um, I think even my mom had given up to a point there, Jeez, but, bro. you know, she's my she's my hero. She's mm. my role model, I'll say it out. One person who's never given up on me. Mm. And I think through many prayers and, you know, as well inside knowing that I'm a good kid, I wanted to contribute back. So having experience in corporate, I was exposed. Um, I was working in STEM, um, STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics um, equipment. So whenever I would go in those environments, I'd come back again, go guys. And then you find that we're still chilling, go go, go to Koning and stuff like that. Mm. And then for the first time in 2017, I, you know, I applied to Department of Science and Technology to partner with them to bring National Science Week to Daveton. We pulled it off for a full five days for the first time with, I think, about 20 schools. And I've never been so fulfilled. And then I guess as I'm growing up, um, I ended up being here. And I'm proud to say now I'm part of the solution that I want bro. to see, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. in our township. So now um, I want to contribute intentionally towards that. Shout out, man, man. Shout out. Shout out to St. Francis <laughs> College in Pinoni. You probably saying, a wonderful young man. Nice work, man. Yeah. yeah. Miss Cocroft would be proud. <laughs> Diane. She, she insists we call her Diana. She was the headmaster and the founder of the school. Like she nice. founded the school. It started off as a, as a night school for adults in the late 80s. And then it became, and the, then those parents were so happy. They were like, yo, please, you know, provide the same platform and quality of education for our young ones. And then she founded the school. Yeah. Um, amazing woman, Diane Cocroft. Fantastic, man. Round of applause Absolutely. for Bunda Melo. Shut up, bro! Shut up, man. Right. Let's continue to support Thank other chillers, that. man. Be a part of the cause. Uh, just become a member. Like I said, uh, purchase some chillers punch. It's going, this is where the money is all going to. Yeah, man. So, yeah. yeah. On Great. that note, Great. on that beautiful note, we are here, podcast and chill. Boom. Peace. <laughs> Welcome to Black Excellence. Do not fear, for if you do, just sip on some grandeur. And if you still do, ask ourselves, what would Mapapunzi do? Parama chilla, itlesha, lefiki. Bungo yi, even when they ask you, how sabi do not fear. For if you do, just say, Anistiri. This is the medicine of censorship. This is the pill. Which one is that one? Podcast and chill.